Hey guys, I just wanted to show off a couple of modifications and hacks, if you will, that I came up with over the last week and uh, had some luck today. I didn't, I didn't share this earlier since I was still so distraught about losing that fish that uh, broke my line because it was frayed, but wanted to show you the rig I was using today. So it's the VMC Tokyo rig. Um, and what I did here is I've got a quarter ounce bullet weight on here, but if you see this little deal here, it's actually, I picked up these glass beads at Academy over the weekend. They were like $2.89 for a pack. Um, if I like how this works, I can get them in bulk from eBay or, um, AliExpress, but I kept trying, experimenting, trying to like put them in the soft plastics like this pit boss and I kept tearing them up. I tried it on a couple of Senkos and frankly I got sick of destroying my soft plastics. So looking at this I used some of these little white zip ties that uh, little mini like four inch ones. I keep a bunch of these in my tackle bag. I just pinned the um, case of the beads to the the wire here where the weight is so as this is moving across the bottom and you have this ticking along and hitting stuff you can hear it when it hits something it makes that rattling sound and on the rig that I lost I had that tied on there <clears throat> and obviously I got a fish pretty quickly um, when I re-rigged I didn't add this back because I didn't think about it adding it back because I was as I mentioned I was still distraught but as you can see um, I think that may have made a difference especially in that water that was very low vis visibility um, and I was using a little bit larger profile bait it was that uh, Zico Armacraw I thought I was out of them but I realized I've got one more in my bag and I had a couple that were attached as trailers on jigs and uh, um, a couple other things I think I had one as a trailer on a uh, what you call it, the bladed jig, which I can't think of the name of it, so I'll have some more beer. Maybe that'll help me help to remember. Anyway, with low visibility, almost always I use this. I'll spike whatever I'm using, you know, probably a quarter of it in that, and this stuff stinks to high heaven, but fish love it. But that was, that's one of the modifications that I did today, so I'll definitely keep this out there. Um, I need to start trying a few different types of soft plastics on here because I can work this like I do a Texas rig just around cover and you know drag it across the bottom. I can swim it just ticking the bottom too with like a uh, like a paddle tail. So I need to try a few different things. I really only mean using the um, Tokyo rig just like I would a Texas rig just as a way to sort of keep this off the bottom and give it a you know more action with more weight than I normally like to use on a Texas rig because normally with a Texas rig I'm using sometimes as low as a 16th ounce um, or just weightless. Um, most I'll usually go is about uh, 3 8 ounce but this is a quarter ounce which is more than I like to typically use but I like that I can kind of anchor the bottom with this and just sort of work it like I do a drop shot. Just think of it as a mini drop shot. Just kind of give it a couple of jiggles let the line go slack drag it, jiggle, give it slack, drag it, jiggle again, uh, and so forth. But, so that's one thing. The other thing I wanted to show off is that I got sick of trying to figure out how to manage my soft plastics. I've had them in these bags sorted by Creature, Senkos, Ned Rigs, Minnow style baits, and worms for a while. Um, but what I did was I punched holes in the side of them and then shrewd that up with some of this um, wax like painter's tape and then cut out a, a binder ring out of an old binder and just attach that and it keeps them nice and flat where I could just pull the whole thing out and just flip through um, what I want to use depending on where and how I'm fishing. So um, just a couple things I did today I wanted to show off but I was just too distraught after losing that fish to think about showing off. but. Definitely looking forward to getting out and trying uh, the Tokyo rig again with the glass beads and trying a few different soft plastics on it. 
and try and swimming it a little bit more. I'm hoping to make some Tokyo rigs myself. Um, just looking to maybe get you know some of these rings, just a couple swivels and a any kind of semi-heavy wire would seem to do because it's a cool rig, but these suckers are $4.99 for two of them. And I fished them around some pretty heavy cover and been doing okay on not losing them. If I get you know snagged, I'm able to work them out. But of course, that one today is sitting somewhere in the side of that fish's mouth, and I will be going back to retrieve it soon. Mark my word. But uh, anyway, cheers and uh, tight lines out there.